What's up everybody out there at YouTube land? Wrath2501 here. Alright guys, so, got an, a little interesting video from Major Kill for the Warhammer part of Double Feature Friday. This is why nobody takes Kaldor Drago seriously. Yeah. It's because he has a beard. It's filled with tiny men. Kill them all! I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, so this is by Major Kill, of course. So, let's get started. He's the only one who's got some, you know, regular uh, Warhammer content. If you guys can recommend anybody else, uh, please let me know in the comments. I mean, because uh, Commissar Gamza ain't got shit anymore. All he does is bitch about uh, GW now. Anyway, so let's go. G'day, guys and gal. Warhammer 40k is rife with memes. Like, there's a That's sub mildly, with over 260,000 members that is purely Jeez. dedicated to memes. There are multiple memes. original meme creators who make artwork from it's scratch all memes? as part Always of their has income been. dedicated to Warhammer 40k memes. On one hand, this is great. Memes are hilarious. On the other hand, this can create a bit of a head scratcher for new fans of the setting who struggle to tell the difference between a meme and actual lore. It also mm. doesn't help that a lot of the actual lore is very memey. Yeah. Here's a quick test. Which of these following statements are a meme? Red orc vehicles go faster because red is the color of speed. No. The Tau are scared of melee. Or the Empress no. children regularly grind people into dust to snort them for a high. You see what Actually, I'm Actually, I think it's the Tau. The Tau is technically easy a meme. For us. The One of the biggest meme casualties is Kaldor Drago, but, a legendary know. Grey Knight champion and one of the most powerful characters in the entire setting. Yet you would seriously struggle to find a single person who took him seriously. They would quote lines from TTS or bring up his yeah. lore, and <laughs> I don't blame them. Nice. But it begs the question, why is he such a massive meme? Before we get started, I am currently in Europe. This video was another one of my cheeky pre-recorded ones. I'm so silly like that. Hence, this is but, the last opportunity I have to tell you about the Magical Plushies. Okay, which you've probably so heard of about a dozen, but if you buy one, it will be like more here. at a discount as well. Today we'll go over why Caldo right, Drago so is such go. a big meme that no one takes seriously. We will then discuss what minor adjustments we can make to his lore. Hell, to even the cool, thumbnail for this video has Caldo Drago says, have you ever eaten? Let's a tangerine. Yeah. Uh, he's quoting TTS like right off the bat anyway, so. This is a bit of a two-part answer, as there are two main things keeping Kaldor Drago in meme land. The first part is the lore Matt Ward wrote of him making him wildly overpowered for no real specified reason, and the second okay. is his betrayal in Alpha Buzz's TTS. We will start with his cooked as <laughs> lore, which will give more context nice. to his TTS situation. Now off the bat, Drago is a Grey Knight, and Grey Knights are very powerful. Their gene seed is said to come from the Emperor himself rather than one of his Primarchs. They are all Psychers, and they have some top tier gear. The rate of failure for becoming a Grey Knight is also the highest out of all the Space Marine chapters, with only a 1 in a million aspirants making it to the status of Battle Brother. Damn. So I do respect the fact that they are powerful, and I respect the fact that they can take out greater demons or even demon Primarchs. Although it usually takes the death of most of a squad or the efforts of one of the Grey Knights best to achieve such a feat. Drago's like first Drago. highlight in the lore was when he attacked and successfully banished the demon prince Nka. As Nka was being banished, oh. he cursed Drago, saying that if he ever returned to this world, he would have to do 100 jumping jacks and then shove a pencil down his dick hole. From here, what? Drago would receive a promotion and accolades, as banishing a demon prince is pretty cool. So far, yeah, sure, a powerful character, but not too silly. But then it does get silly. Drago mm. was attached to a Grey Knight squad who had to attack and banish Mortarion. You know, the Demon Primarch. The thing about Demon Primarchs is that their physical raw power has increased, but they can develop a weakness. For Magnus, a Cornite axe did him dirty. For Angron, it was his complete lack of tactical awareness. But that doesn't mean <laughs> Demon Primarch should be a punching bag. After Mortarion had killed his entire squad and the Supreme Grandmaster of the Grey Knights, only Damn. Drago remained. Drago randomly figured out Mortarion's true name, got control over him, and carved his fallen Supreme Grandmaster's name into his heart. Not because it bound him or weakened him, no. That would the be hell? too intelligent for Warhammer. He did it as a sign of pure disrespect, the equivalent of teabagging a corpse. Seriously, a lot of people dude? were obviously a bit like, what the fuck, seeing a Space Marine 1v1 a Primarch, but to be honest, this wasn't even the wildest part of his lore. A few years later, the demon Mkhar returned to the world in which Drago had banished him from and begun causing a ruckus. 
Drago, who was now the Supreme Grandmaster, decided to go face his old foe alone, as he didn't want his battle brothers to also have to do 100 jumping jacks, followed by a pencil shoved down their dick holes. When Seriously? Drago arrived, he did a bunch of anime shit, solo holding a choke <laughs> gun against a demonic shit. army for two days, carrying Dude, battles man. hard, saving the day, blah blah. When he finally faced Mkar, they had the most generic boss battle ever. Drago attacks, the attacks have no effect. All seems lost as Mkar breaks Drago's sword and wounds him. As Mkar goes for the killing okay. blow, Drago has a dramatic flashback montage to all his childhood memories, gaining the power of friendship and stabbing Mkar in the heart with his broken sword. Yeah, that sounds like some Real epic shit right there. stuff, you know? As Mkar was being dragged back to hell once again, he grabbed onto Drago and pulled him into the realms of chaos. Entering the realms of chaos is usually a pretty much instant death sentence. Either you spontaneously combust, go crazy, then spontaneously combust, or just get torn apart by demons. Or your it's head explodes. Exactly the Don't forget your head explodes. However, not Drago. Our boy in silver decided to cosplay as the Doom Slayer and start tearing <laughs> through the realms of chaos. No demon could even remotely uh... match him as he slaughtered them in thousands. Each Chaos God sent their best effort to try kill or corrupt him. He killed a greater demon of Khorne, set fire to Nurgle's Damn. garden, resisted irresistible demonettes of Slaanesh, and toppled a great tower of Titsnitch. This was all on Chaos's home turf. He was so fucking overpowered for no apparent reason. Like Mkar nearly beat him in their duel, yet now he is the Chaos Boogeyman? The demons literally hide from him when he's nearby in their own realm. But if that wasn't enough, during times of great need, Drago returns to real space, saves the day, and then is dragged back to the realms of chaos. With the opening of the Great Rift, Drago is pretty yeah, much around pretty dumb. time. Dude has saved so many days, it's unreal. So the issue here is the Mary Sue aspect of his character. Literally mm. unkillable. Demons are scared of him. He can take down demon Primarchs, demon Princes, and greater demons with not too much effort. And he always appears to save the day in the Grey Knight's time of need, dramatically reducing the stakes in any conflict they are in. There is no in-law reason given for his insane power beyond him just being awesome, but there easily could be. I'm about to tell you my headcanon, which not only justifies Drago's power, but creates a really awesome potential plotline involving other characters. Okay. The first Grandmaster yeah, of the but Grey they'll never go with Janus. it. He was created through the combination of the Noble Shard of Magnus with the dying body of a Loyalist Thousand Sun Space Marine. The result was an incredibly powerful and noble Psyker, the perfect first Grey Knight. Magnus really wanted his Noble Shard back, as that was the biggest thing he was missing. He's kind of a total asshole without it and is missing Good. a lot of power. There was a plotline of Magnus trying to find it during the Siege of Terror. At some point after the heresy, Janus died, and as far as official lore goes, the Noble Shard died with him, which is such a waste. The concept of loyalist elements of Traitor Primarch still existing is very intriguing and makes for good lore. Just look at how popular the perfect loyalist clone of Fulgrim was. Hence my headcanon was that upon his death, the Noble Shard of Magnus left Janus and entered the new Supreme Grandmaster of the Grey Knights. Then after a time, he too died and passed on the Shard, meaning each Supreme Grandmaster has been special in that regard. That's a good bit when of Mortarian story, actually. That Drago's makes Supreme sense. Supreme Grandmaster, that Shard would have attached itself to Drago, giving him the power and knowledge he needed to bind Morty and banish him. This would also explain why he's become so powerful and incorruptible. He has the noble aspect of a Primarch within him. Could also set up a cool plotline with Magnus if the Crimson King discovered his noble shard was still alive. Yeah, By them doing that, it could fix many issues and the Mary Sue memes that Caldo suffers from. Yeah, but they won't then do that. There they is never his do. TTS appearance. That's yeah. a good looking beard you have there, sir. Yeah. I too have a beard. It's a secret. A wizard yeah. never reveals his secrets. Caldo Drago! How did you know my well kept secrets? Yeah. Have you made a visit in my ear? Have you? Have you seen my beard? Please. We will provide the hands! That is a lie! Kill them all! I have ah. already defeated him! I must go. My planet needs me. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That did it. That did it. Solidified Caldor I Drago. I suspect he was high on narcotics. <laughs> have we ever eaten a tangerine? Okay. 
I'm not gonna lie, that's fucking yeah. hilarious. I 100% get behind <laughs> yes, this, is. and I don't care if it ruins his character. Yeah. In fairness to Alpha Buzz's representation of Drago, him being so well adjusted after countless <laughs> eons solo wandering the realms of chaos without clean fruit or water, constantly yeah. beset by demons, illusions, and the frustration of being trapped. Him getting a little wonky in the brain is totally understandable, a little, if not dude. completely respectable. To be honest, Drago's character should just go one of two ways. Either absorb the shot of Magnus to justify his Mary Sue status, mm. or go full TTS lunatic mode and justify his power by his insanity. His insanity mm. being created to protect his mind from the reality of the situation. When I one day buy Games That's Workshop, the very first thing I'll do is make a Drago book where he opens up his final battle with him car with... Have you ever eaten a tangerine? <laughs> that, that would be, be awesome. That would be awesome. Okay, so that would be a good one. Yeah, there's this patron shit, which I can't show, but um, also it's it's a shmentai anyway. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. Why no one takes Caldor Drago seriously? That makes perfect sense. Excuse me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, that was pretty cool. Talking to, uh, that's a pretty good head cannon he's got there though about the whole uh, with the noble shard of Magus. That makes that makes good sense. But GW, you'll never do it. They always leave. There's the, From what I've seen, I'm not really super into Warhammer. But just from what I've seen, they've got loose ends of stories for all the main characters, like, hanging out all over the place. You know? And they contradicts itself, retcons itself again and again and again. It's like, it's like you know, I don't think, I don't think there is any uh, material realm in uh, Warhammer. I think it's all just chaos. You know? I think chaos consumed the universe, consumed the galaxy long ago, and everybody's just too stupid to realize that, including the gods of chaos. Anyway... I mean, what you guys think about that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, like this video, subscribe, uh, click on the link to the original down in the description, get down to Major Kill's channel, like his original, and sub to him if you haven't, if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, guys, bye bye.